Hello, I am Tajane Remy, your Miss Universe Trinidad and Tobago 2022, and this is my OMG interview. I feel very fortunate to have been trusted yet again with another title. I am grateful to Trinidad and Tobago and for my 23 other sisters who would have gone through this past few weeks with me, challenging me because they too are representatives and reflections of who I am now. All of them were as qualified to be in this position as I am now. And it is with great honor and with great responsibility I take this position and I take it to the international stage after five years of not having a Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Universe Trinidad and Tobago representative. I'm hoping to go out on the international stage yet again to represent my country, to represent what we stand for, our people, our culture, and most importantly, to remind the universe that Trinidad and Tobago is well equipped to represent and be an ambassador for women throughout the world. I'm coming into this new position with the experience of as a Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2019 and Miss World Caribbean 2019 and I feel a sense of further responsibility to ensure that this position, this title is represented even better because I would have been able to garner experiences, hone skills, unearth parts of myself that I think that are going to be beneficial in representation and ambassadorship. I've been reflecting on my experiences in representation as a national volleyball athlete for five years, uh, as the outgoing Miss World Caribbean and Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2019, and I'm recognizing that there's a pattern and my desire to always be or to find myself in positions where I am responsible for country and nation, nation building is the joy I get in seeing people who I look like, who I represent, who I've come from, who I am a byproduct of, feel a sense of pride and identity based on the hard work that I would have put in. When you're on the volleyball court and you have your teammates with you and you're on the last point against a country that no one thought you could have beaten, it is country that you remember when you're on the international stage and your country's name is called in the category nobody thought you would have been able to make it through. It is country and community that I remember. And that privilege, what I call the pressure and pleasure of serving, is one that I will do again because it's worth it. <laughs> Tajani is gregarious. She is passionate about people and that profanity to always be involved and to be long and to be a part of has benefited me in the work that I do as a children services associate in the organizations that I belong to such as the Keys Foundation and all the other organizations that I am to come into would remember Tajani as one who's passionate about people and who's always ready for service. One of my fondest memories was coming back home from Miss World and being greeted with steel pan and folk dancers, uh, a motorcade through my community, very late in the night I might add, but seeing the passion and the pride and all my, my people hearing my Trinigonian accents after almost two months, that may have been one of the fondest memories I've had. One of my least favorite memories would have been the year that I would have lost my grandmother. She was the matriarch in my family and held us together like she was the glue. And losing her was a reminder that I needed to, to build legacy that reflected and hold, fam hold family together, hold persons together. And when I do leave, I want my legacy to be one that persons remember and can live through. Tajani, as a child, is just a smaller version of who I am. I am still, still very fun-loving, still easily excitable, I'm still always willing to be a part of and involved and outside, um, but also very reflective and always wanting to connect, connect with people, connect with the environment, and she's pretty much the same now, just a little bit more mature. My mother is uh, my 
She, if, if there's anybody I do my service for and would like to emulate in the way that she gives herself, gives of herself selflessly, it would be my mother. If I can be half the woman that she is, have half the strength that she has, I would be in a pretty good position. As my paternal lineage, I have been fortunate to be one of more than a dozen children and after recently rekindling my relationship with my dad, I would have met and been able to be an auntie to so many nieces and nephews, uh, to be a sister to so many brothers and sisters and I find myself in a position of privilege coming from an only a single parent, um, only child family to now being embraced by such a large family. One of the biggest lessons I think I have learned is being authentic, be your authentic self because sooner or later you're going to have to do it anyway so might as well start now. <laughs> In terms of love and relationship, that part of my life has been reserved for a time where I'm just a little bit more settled. I'm so excited to be engaging in ventures that are bringing me su such fulfillment and so I know that I would not be able to sacrifice this part of my life uh, for anything else right now. If I were to die without realizing my true purpose for being on this earth, I think that is what my biggest fear could be without recognizing my God-given potential for being here and ensuring that I hold it and share it with the world so that others may benefit. I reflect on the life my mother has had and the position that she would have been in at my age during her time and I'm grateful now for the sacrifice that she's made that now I can have options to dance and play sport, to travel and become a beauty ambassador. I owe a lot to her and if I am to have the type of selflessness that she has, type of strength, I think I'll be in a pretty good position so she would be the person I'd look up to most. We've been given a gift after not having a representative for Miss Universe for Trinidad and Tobago after five years. I want to take this time to thank Trinidad and Tobago, thank Crowns and Sashes and all of those who would have been preparing me uh, since I could walk to now for this time, for this moment. I want to say thank you and to the universe look out because Trinidad and Tobago is coming. I am Tarjani Remy, your Miss Universe Trinidad and Tobago 2022 and I want to thank you for looking at my OMG interview. Feel free to follow my journey on Instagram and Facebook at Tarjani Remy. Stick along for the ride. Bye. <laughs>